Our next speaker is a social entrepreneur seeking to improve infant health in low resource settings. Let's get a nice big Ignite welcome for Grace Shaw. Good evening, everyone. I am so happy to be here and be able to share the story of what I've done for our startup, Warmaloo. I'm a material science engineer. I graduated this April, and I'm currently in the Master of Entrepreneurship program, as Anne mentioned. So a year ago from today, we were a group of material science engineers. We just had a dream. We were just thinking to ourselves, we want to spread the warmth to save lives. We dreamed big. We weren't holding back. We wanted to be able to bring this warmth because 140 infants die every hour worldwide from hypothermia-related causes. This puts you at 1.2 million infants dying every year. They're simply unable to thermoregulate. They need to be able to have a source of external heat. They can't keep warm because their skin is too thin, they don't have enough body fat, and in fact, they can't even shiver when they're cold. And that's where we come in. We have our non-electric, reusable, and instant heat source technology. This is what I'm passionate about. It's able to generate heat in seconds for these infants. So when they need heat, when these doctors are trying to give them warmth to be able to save their lives, they can get it anytime, anywhere. These are the heat packs that are providing this heat that's going to be able to generate the warmth for these infants. And they go into these blankets. I have one right here. And you know, why does this all matter? Why did I decide to go into this? It all goes back to, I was born preterm. So I was born, my, I couldn't breathe. I was in a hospital for two weeks. I was born more than a month early and my parents couldn't even pay for the hospital bills. You know, nothing gives you an appreciation for life like not being able to get out of the gate. And so this gave me the courage, being born preterm gave me the courage, the motivation and the passion to bring our heat source technology to these other preterm infants in low resource settings. And it's always a careful balance. Having a social cause doesn't just mean you're waving banners, holding a signpost, trying to talk about you know, people donating to you. When you're a for-profit social venture, <coughs> you want to balance out profitability and sustainability because you have this implicit understanding that you need this in order to bring the social cause forward. And this is already pretty hard, considering that you're a small startup with very limited resources. And so here we are. A year later, it's been such a journey. Growing our company here in Ann Arbor has been a dream come true. In just a year, we have gotten all of our product, our heat technology, to the point where we can go to Bangalore, India for clinical trials in two weeks. And the startup scene here is supportive with the mentorship, the network, of entrepreneurial resources and the peer-to-peer -peer feedback. Alexis, Alexis Madrigal from the Atlantic came here just a few weeks ago to check out Ann Arbor and Michigan and the Midwestern entrepreneurial scene. And this is what he noted. He thought to himself that if there's anywhere with startup culture, it's become embedded here in the general culture. And so this is why so having a social cause is so important because you're able to have something that people can align with, for something to inspire people, for something that people can find as something they can support and be able to keep them going when times are up. This is our team. We've gathered a team that is fantastic. There is no way that I would be here in front of you today if I had not had the support of the team. There is, as Maya earlier said, when you're looking at a business, one of the things that you need to know is that you're going to be limited. I can't do everything by myself, and that's why I have these amazing people here. You're able to attract these people, their feedback, their resources, their time, their most precious commodity that they can offer so that they can bounce their ideas and hold you accountable. When you have all these people all lining up for this one social cause, wanting to bring it forward, you're able to take a bigger step forward. You're able to take that leap that you could not do alone. And so that holds you accountable. This is an image of, infant, of infants and their medical needs based on their birth weight, et cetera. Now, having this social cause keeps me close to my principles. It makes me go the extra mile. And so thank you so much. I'm glad to share my social cause to spread the warmth to save lives. I hope that this 
inspires you to find your passion and hopefully grow your startup here in Michigan rather than on the east or west coast. Thank you so much. I hope I get to see you.